If you guys are bored and you need some new games, then I highly recommend G28.com. The link is in the description below. Hey, how's it going guys? It's CK here and welcome back to the Crew Wild Run. It's been a little while since we've played this game, but we're back for an episode of Cruise and Chill. Yeah, another thing we haven't done for a little while, so if you have anything you want me to talk about in future episodes of this, then let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to kind of use this series now, it's kind of like a and a if you know what I mean, like every week, just answer like a couple of questions, but there is one that we'll get to a little bit later on, but, but here is the car that we're going to be driving today, it is the BMW X6M. Now, there was a recent patch update for the crew and it actually gets this thing as a dirt spec, so it's going to be good to check out. It's going to be very, very good and it basically done nothing to it. It only put like rubber bumpers onto it, but anyway, we'll check out the rest of the customization. I mean, it looks, it looks okay. It's not exactly to my taste. I like the red though, we might be keeping it in that. What's the front bumper gonna change? Just takes it back, doesn't it? Ooh! Ooh! I like that! I like it like that, man! I really do, man! But that takes it back to like the normal, like, X6. I don't want that. I want a sporty one for going off road. Logic, I know there's none. There's none here whatsoever, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, man. It looks... Yeah. The X6 has always been quite a weird looking car, though. I've got to say, but we'll go for that. That looks kind of weird. We'll go for the weird look. We'll go for the weird look today, but... Yeah, the question was... How do you, like, get started in YouTube and how do you, like, stand out? Now, I get this question a hell of a lot. So does many other YouTubers out there. And I know it has been on, like, tons and of videos over YouTube, but I kind of wanted to give you my own, like, sort of opinion on it, and honestly, it ain't that hard, man, all you've got to do is have a dedication for making videos, and just generally enjoy it and be yourself, that is the thing that I tell anyone, be yourself, be original, and just be consistent, if you know what I mean, try and upload every day, like, once or twice, I mean, I like to upload twice, but at the same time, life as a bitch sometimes and I can't always do that but when I can I will do that uh, let's see I think we've got everything done on this car we'll check out the actual colour anyway ooh the black looks mean looks very mean but the blue looks even better I'm a sucker for blue so we're gonna be going for the blue da -ba -dee -ba -da -da, da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. what are we gonna do in terms of perform mmm burping Burping, holy shit. Ah, fucking hell. That's what Dr. Pepper does to you people. Don't drink the shit, seriously. I think we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. We'll take it for a nice drive right now. Been talking too much in here. It looks quite cool, I must admit. It does look not that bad in blue. The red is okay, but damn. Back to what I was saying. Just be original, man. Just be original, be yourself, and just be happy doing videos. That's all I've been doing in... Honestly, the amount of support you guys give me, I mean, <laughs> blows my mind. It blows my freaking mind, like, how far we've came over the years, man. It's, I know it's nothing compared to, like, like any other YouTuber, like PewDiePie or Markiplier or some shit like that, but I never thought I would even get, like, 10,000, let alone a 1,000 subscribers, and you guys have just freaking kept on showing up. You kept on watching the videos, so... Thanks very much for that. It is much appreciated. So, there's better things planned for the future, and we're going to be talking about one of them in a little second, but that basically answers that question, man. Just be yourself and have fun. That is the key. Speed is key! No, it's not. Having fun is the key. Having fun. But anyway, we'll jump out and see if it's like an off road area. This thing sounds freaking mean. It's like, Rrr. I'm an angry BMW. I like to roar like Katy Perry, even though she's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> nah, Katy Perry's fine. Katy Perry's fan. Now, speaking of bitches, but a good bitch, Michelle Rodriguez got to drive the Jaguar F-Type SVR 201 miles an hour. She is one lucky bitch. She definitely is. I would kill for that. Seriously, I really, really would kill to actually drive that thing 
at that speed man. But I think the car goes really, really well with her. If you know what I mean, I like how they advertise the F type first when it first came out like with Lana Del Rey. Kinda of more of a laid back and soulful, if you know what I mean. But Michelle Rodriguez, you know how badass she is, she can fucking throw a punch. That kinda of symbolizes the SVR F type, it's more aggressive. I like what they've done with that. Seriously. I don't know if it's just me that's noticed that, but it's cool, man. It's very, very cool. I just looked over at the Elgato because these headphones, it doesn't seem as loud. I don't know why. It seems really, really low for the crew. Hold up. Wait a minute, girl. Why are you looking like that? That would be the reason why, because my TV is like right down in terms of headphones. Now I can hear it a hell of a lot better. Woo now, if you're only just turning to my channel and like, what is this all about? It's a cruise and chill episode. I don't really edit it at all. It's just all one take. So, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I just said like a supercharger wine. And I just heard windows crashing. Holy shit, a windows smashing. Holy shades of cross. We're in the stand dunes. Okay. <laughs> Can I imagine taking this thing to a BMW dealership after this and like, I'm ah, gonna fix it. You're like, what the hell have been what the hell have you been doing with it? Yeah, I was just at Las Vegas, just jumping around in the fucking sand dunes. Yeah, Lolo bitch. That's a nice Mustang he's got though. Me me, Herbie. Me me, me 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 the thing I was going to say earlier on is about new stuff coming is that The Office we should be getting in there next week. I know I've said this like for fucking years now, it feels like, but the thing that pissed me right off on Friday is that the, we phoned up the BT guy again, right? And <laughs> it was meant to be here by Thursday. It was meant to be at The Office by Thursday. I'm talking about the actual broadband hub. Wasn't there. Wasn't there on Friday. So, this in the UK is a holiday weekend for Easter. So that means Friday and Monday are holidays, but luckily the mail actually still gets delivered on a Friday and Monday here in the UK. So, oh my god! You can jump around, man! Jump around! Oh, Jesus Christ! What are you doing?! Bloody hell! You're trying to kill me! I mean, I know I'm trying to kill myself with this freaking thing, but freaking heck, you don't need to do it anymore. But fingers crossed, I'm going to run up again and see if it'll be there by Monday or Tuesday. Because we've got the posters, is it? We've got the posters and everything up. It's like, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it because I'm obviously going to be doing like a, a tour and shit. It's going to be really, really cool. Uh, but apart from that, everything's going good. Everything's going really, really good. I have got more shifts at work in terms of hours. Like, normally on a Saturday and Sunday, I don't really do many hours because I kind of focus on YouTube a lot more. But I was like, yeah, may as well do some more hours. And he gave me them. The manager gave me them, so thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Because if I'm going to be saving up for a car and I'm going to be saving up for like going on road trips and stuff, then we kind of do need a little bit more money, don't you? You really, really do. Oh dear. Oh dear. What's a dear? My god. I don't want to smash it into the side of my car, man. Freaking. Like spears. I know a lot of you guys watch spears because I think his truck actually got hit by a deer a couple of years ago. So. Yeah, he actually watches my videos sometimes. So if you are watching, mate, then. High five to you. I'll try not and run that deer down. I mean, I like animals, man. Don't hurt them. Don't hurt them. They're key to nature. They are key to nature, man. They are very, very key. Oh, come on, come on, come on, BMW, make it up here. You've got to make it up. What are you doing? Now, I don't think I've ever been down here before. This is pretty cool, man. It's probably, probably the most off-roady area. Ay, ay, ay! What the fuck? Okay, guy on a bike. What is that? Is that a KTM bike? Yes it is, I think so. But I'll be check I'll be testing out the Ducati Diablo pretty soon. Cause I'm gonna be doing this new series on this game, which I think you guys are gonna love. It's all about exploration. It's all about 
the freedom of driving and shit, and like the best places to do it, so keep an eye out for that sometime next week because I'm scheduling the videos out again. I'll be a lot, lot, lot better in terms of like consistency. So I know I only have been putting out one video per day, but sometimes it's better to do that, if you know what I mean. Because if you just keep pumping them and pumping them out, people kind of get sick of you. But yeah, I'll try and mix it up a little bit, guys. Because I don't want to do the same thing every time. So it's kind of like Forza Horizon, GTA, Need for Speed, GTA, blah, 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 etc. So, yeah, I'm going to be keeping GTA on the channel quite a lot. So, know you guys like that. Why are you seeing the exact same car as me? I just noticed that. We're twins with the BMW twins. Hey! <laughs> twins roll out. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Now, I've actually... Can already eat my Easter egg. Yeah, this is Friday. I'm recording this. I'm not meant to be eating it until tomorrow, but I'm a fat guy. <laughs> I'm a fat guy. No, I'm not. I'm not really a fat guy. I'm generously proportioned. That's probably the best blooming saying that I could actually say. I'm generally proportioned. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Keep up, mate. Keep up. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you want to direct that comment to Drift, my persona, the panda, the logo on the channel, then yeah, he's a bit rotund. Because <laughs> I had a few comments when I put the picture up first on Facebook saying, he's a bit rotund, isn't he? I'm like, you cheeky bastard. You're going to offend him. It's a funny little panda. God damn it. Don't offend him. Look how adorable he is. God damn it. But for the people that keep on saying to me, Frank or EK, what is a fursona? I just don't get it. Let me explain it to you right now, nice and clearly. A fursona is basically like a cartoon animal version of yourself. So basically what a furry is, it's a person that likes anthropomorphic characters. Um, the fandom is basically the exact same thing. We like the art of them. Basically, if you want to sum it up right, there's 90% people do it for the fun and just like interacting with other people and going to cons and getting absolute shit faced, which I've done once. Very, very fun. And then you get the darker side, which all the media and everyone focuses on. You know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Rule 34. <coughs> That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I ain't part of that shit. The 90%, hell yeah. Freaking getting pissed, getting hammered. That's the lifestyle to live, man. Because people these days are like that. Well, I mean, I, I've got a few friends like this and that. They always stay in and they don't really do much. And I'm like, why don't you go? Why don't you party? Why don't you live life to the full, man? That's the best thing to do. You've only got one life. Live it to the full. Cram all your ideas into like, a piece of paper and just do them. Go on a road trip. Go out, get pissed. You've got to experience it, guys. Seriously, I mean, if you're only, what, 12 or 13, then I don't recommend you doing that just yet. Do that when you're, like, 18. Well, it's 18 in the UK that you can drink. And then in the States, it's 21, so... 21! 21! Oh my god, 21. But, yeah, definitely go out and adventure, guys. I've not done it in a long time, so it's kind of ironic me saying that, but... Ooh, I'm in the mood to do it. I am in the mood to do it, because when I go out... The, the panda comes alive. The claws come out, bitches. They really, really do. Jesus Christ. It's it's insane, because my favourite drinks have to be Copperberg, Raspberry, and Strawberry. And there's also a pear. Get that one. And what else is there? There's like vodka shots and shit. But the best one, I go to a club in Glasgow. And um, obviously it's... Uh, <laughs> Obviously it's a gay club. Yes it is. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell already, really, really. <laughs> but yeah, I go there, everyone's nice and friendly and everything. And um, there's this juice, or not really juice, but it's a slush puppy, right? But they drown it in vodka. It's so nice. It's so nice. This video should be called EK's Drinking Tips. Get tipsy with EK. That'd be amazing. Like if I do eventually go to like a big YouTuber con or everything, I'd be like that. Fuck the press or something like that. Fuck the, the press stands. Let's go and get pissed. <laughs> That'd be the best thing ever. 
That would be awesome, but anyway guys, I think we're going to round it off here. That was probably the biggest amount of rambling I have ever done in my life, but hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know your questions down below. I know I only asked some I know I'll answer one, but I will try and answer more in the future. But it could be about anything at all. Anything at all that you guys want to know, whether it's YouTube and shit like that. And yeah. The main reason why I mentioned that, you know how the, the gay club and everything, I know a lot of you watch me that are gay or lesbian or anything like that, so I'm open to it. I am truly, truly open to it. I knew I would have to cut there because I'm talking about this thing, but yeah, if you are and you're open about it like me, then that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's 2016, it should all be just like one equal happy family. Why can't we all be one big equal happy family that gets along, seriously? But I'm not saying that you're not entitled to your opinion, that's perfectly fine, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. It's meant to be like a cruise and chill episode, not a start a war in the comments video. <laughs> but. Yeah guys, oh shit, hit the controller. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on Monday. I'm going to take a day off on Sunday because I'm going to be working two chefs in a row. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Likes always appreciate it guys. And yeah, see you next time. Sub to the channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace.